Ugh. Look at that smoke, what's going on? Yeah. Press the X. Oh my gosh! Stop, my finger's stuck. What? <laughs> Hello everyone. Hi. Hi Mrs B. Hello. High five. Welcome to another kitchen hack testing video. The playlist Mrs B where we find kitchen hacks that you've sent us on the internet and actually try them out and see if they work. Yes, uh, this is part of a massive playlist, so uh, put on your barathon, sweatband, have... I uh, actually should sell those, that would be amazing. Oh, uh, what a good <laughs> idea! Check out the rest of the playlist because we have found some very good hacks. Some very dangerous ones and some very bad ones. Rubbish ones. And yeah. that is our role as trained hack professionals, as always, to model way through them for you. Uh, and actually today, it's my choice. Oh, you have chosen them and I'm a bit scared because... You've got some things out the garage. Yeah. They're always dangerous when you pick them. There are two dangerous um, ones today. There's one that will definitely not work that's just random and you guys keep sending it to me. Okay. There's another one that's dangerous, but right. on brand. Yeah. And there's some that's actually quite, I think, gonna be quite cool. Okay. So I think we'll start with a nice, easy one. Ready? Good, yep. Yeah. Let's go. Hacks away. Have you ever been in a situation where you've wanted to chop up a cauliflower and get the stalks off quickly and You've not actually got an actual gadget that's dedicated for that. Yes, all the time. Well, you use one of these. Oh. An apple corer. Although the video doesn't show the whole cauliflower being separated. Oh no. What have we become? But I just moved the camera and Mrs. B just says, didn't know you could get extra large cauliflowers. Now, this is where this hack doesn't sort of do what this other tool does. Because we need to get in and get these out, okay? Yeah. So we can just do that with a knife. Because you can't do it with that. Right, so what, what's the point of this then? I'm getting onto that now. Um, this is very good actually. Let's just see if we can do what we just did there with the apple corer. Okay, yeah, you could, you can. But that is not the hack. Oh. So you kind of, the hack is that you need the apple corer, but then you've also got to remove the larger florets first of all. But once you do one, I mean, you can just snap them off. So what okay. you do, right? Yeah. Just, just put that it. over there. Yeah. Push down. And you've got little bits of cauliflower. Okay. Nice Aww. diddy bits of cauliflower okay. portions. Is that all right? Good, that's possible. I do like this little bit that you're left with though. Look at that. If you twist it to serrate yeah, it. It still works. Okay. <laughs> there you this go. Work. Yeah. So I mean you yeah. have to pull it apart. I'm not I do but yeah? yeah, I'm So you're gonna use that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hack number two. Have you ever been in a situation where you need to open a bottle yep. or a jar mm -hmm. and you, you can't do it, but you luckily have a spanner to hand and a glue gun Oh, and okay. uh, some nuts? <laughs> so I have been in a situation quite recently where I haven't been able to open a jar. Yeah, and that is yeah. quite a common thing that people struggle with. I don't yeah. think this is for those people. Okay. This is a spanner. Okay. Glue gun. Yeah. So we just go like this and twist. Do, do you know what you probably could? Look, okay? Okay. So what we want you to do is basically glue this mm -hmm. on there. Uh, okay. I'll leave that up to you. I don't, okay. not an expert at this. <laughs> but um, it should work. So oh. the hope is that we glue this up. Oh, is your gun ready? It's ready, it's leaking glue. All right, so yeah, just glue this on there, mate. Yes. Okay. There you go. Building up some layers now. Okay. Go like this, try it this way. Yeah. All I do know is that we're gonna owe our daughter a glue gun stick. <laughs> as long as you don't do what I did the other day and super glued my fingers together yes. when I was trying to super glue a bit of a shoe. Oh dear, yes. that really, really hurt. It was great to watch. So I'm guessing, do I then put this around the, well, yeah. the nuts? Is that what I do? Yeah, well adjust it to make sure that it fits there. That's it, yeah. find the straight edge like that. Like nice that, one, right? right, and then yeah, you then tighten, just tighten it. it to it. Okay. Oh no! Uh oh. Try the jar, one. try the jar. I'm confident about this actually. Oh no, <laughs> just as it comes off. Right, let's get strong stuff. Well, before we go down that route, Mrs. B's found some super glue. This is the dangerous stuff that sticks your fingers. <laughs> Actually, if that stuck your fingers, it should do it, right? I don't like it though. It scares me, you know? 
<laughs> Brings back memories. Ugh. Right, here we go. Super glue. <gasps> Is it doing it? Yeah. That's worked. Hey! <laughs> Do you like it? I mean, is it I useful? I do, yes. To be fair, there's some people that might struggle with the, I mean, there are, the opening jars and bottles is one of the most common things I get from gadget videos, if there's uh, gadgets for that, and I have a lot for that. <laughs> is it stuck to the spanner? Oh, <gasps> crikey. That, that is the downside, you are kind of left with this. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need those nuts. No. Oh gosh, it's still sticky. So now we've got a bottle of elderflower with a nut. <laughs> yeah, but you can tighten it. Oh, is that lid on nice and tight? Oh yeah, you can tighten it. Oh, I like. Oh you no! Stop! My finger's stuck. What? <laughs> Your finger stuck. To the... I got a big <laughs> Right. Do you want to do it again? Do you have a go? Okay. Let's try that one again. It's got to work, surely. Have you just tried oh, to. No, Barry, you put glue on that. <laughs> My fingers. On what side? Are stuck. <laughs> I'm really pulling. Come on. No, because you'll hurt me. I won't hurt you. You need some, um, oh, what did I use? I googled it. Bicarbonate of soda. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who's this piece of, oh, we got baking powder. <laughs> Vaseline worked. Great. That was so, look at, my finger's dented. Now that doesn't, that's not actually like setting on there. Maybe we should leave it to the end of the video and try it. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever been in a situation where you struggle to peel boiled eggs? Yeah, quite a bit actually. Well, apparently if yeah. you boil eggs yeah. in lemon juice, yeah. and the other option is to actually brush lemon juice on, so we'll do both just to give us the best chance, it helps make the shell come off much easier. Oh wow, okay. Yeah? Let's give it a go. Safe one. She's like, oh yeah, this, yeah, is, like this, this is all right. Yeah, we'll do this one. We've got two pounds of water here that we're gonna to bring to the boil. One is gonna be in standard water, so we'll try and peel the eggs. Okay. Uh, and the other one will be in the lemon water with a lemon wedge brushed lemon juice on styly. Shall we crack on? So lemon wedge, straight in there, okay? So the acidity yeah. is gonna be in that water all the time, but we're gonna brush them as well, the eggs. Okay. In fact, how much juice do we need? Yeah, we're not going to need much, it's because... No, I was going to say, no, it in lemon juice. I think it's because I got confused, like, say we're going to paint an egg. Oh, we've got to do the first coat, or undercoat, and then some more. I think that's going to be fine, isn't it? So. <laughs> you don't have to do this, I thought we might as well just do both, just at the same time. And yeah. then put it in the water? Yeah. Do you think this is going to work? I do, actually. You I'm do? really intrigued, because I've been boiling eggs recently, and it's been... The shell has been, like, sticking to them, it's been really hard to That'd get off. That'd be the super glue on your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be a little disappointed that it's not going to peel as good. So it's good that we've got a bit of controversy, yeah. a bit of drama, a bit of tension. We'll see you once Elvis has left the building. Just to, for our sanity, we'll put a lemon wedge there. Let's get the clean water out first. Okay. So that we don't infect it whatsoever oh, yeah. with any speck of lemon Boy. juice. Oh, and into this one. This one's got a crack. Has it? Oh yeah, I see that one. Oh wow, look at that, yeah. Proper right. crack down there. Let's get the lemon ones out. I don't think there's any crack. There's nothing on that. Oh, oh it feels slimy. Does it? Yeah, that's weird. Oh, that one looks pretty good yeah, as well. Yeah, there are no cracks on these eggs. So part one has worked. Uh -huh. Shall we try the uh, standard eggs, no lemon? It's not too bad, it's coming off all right. And then if you get a bit of water on there as well, that can help. No, it is a bit like bitty. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, yours is all right. No, but I'm pulling right. off chunks of egg here. What do you think? It's just like peeling a, an egg. <laughs> okay, so when I put them in there and felt them a minute ago, th can you feel there's like a slime on the mm. egg? I can actually. But actually, because you've not got that crack, it is harder to... Ooh. I don't think it's that, making that any difference. It was worse, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, look. Yeah? Yeah, this isn't... This is just the same. Yeah. Oh, I was really, really hopeful for this hat. Yeah, this is like almost taking off. Like oh it, it wants to take a layer off with it. Like it's almost yeah. bonded oh. it. Oh my gosh, look, I've just taken all of that off. Oh gosh. Save your lemons. Don't put them in with your eggs. It makes no difference. <laughs> hey. Hey. <Yeah. laughs> right. Have you ever been in a situation where you want to crack walnuts, but you do not have a nutcracker? Yes. Every Christmas. Really? 
No. Oh, this is a hack for that. Okay. You've got an excess, excess spare egg carton. Okay. Because you just boil some eggs. Yeah. You've got the walnuts that need bashing because they're not ones that are sold already shelled. Okay. And you've got a hammer. Okay. So I can't really demonstrate, but when you try and break the walnuts and you use them, it goes everywhere, doesn't it? The shell scatters and it yeah. perishes. But in an egg carton, yeah, you have got you yourself your very own little compartments. So now do I put the lid on and bash? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it doesn't reach. All right. Crikey, oh. there you go. And it didn't, it's, it jumped out, but there you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Ah, <laughs> I like this. Oh, look, it just does. It just cracks open. Then you just eat it like that. Yeah. On the video, it showed it looking absolutely perfect. And look, you so can't... you've still got to separate the shell a bit, but you could have your shell in there. Oh, you? good idea. Rubbish tray. I like this hack. Yeah? That's a good one. Thanks, mate. When I first saw it, I thought it was nuts. No. Oh. I hope I cash you doing that on Christmas Day. You just stole my joke. Chestnut you wait. Chestnut you wait? Chestnut you wait. For reference, this is what we're doing. See this? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Skittles all over again. Yes. People have oh begged me God. to look at that. <gasps> that is amazing. If that works, that is going to be It's not going to work. I know. You, you, come on, believe in it. Believe in the hack. Twister lollies are very retro, aren't they? What are they, pineapple, lime and strawberry? And they're tiny. I feel really bad for kids these days. Where Twister Remember the Twister means? used to be like that, yeah. didn't it? It's half the size as well, look at that. <gasps> Some popcorn kernels, might not use all of this. Yeah, so we've got some oil in there. And they didn't put the lid on until this had fully melted. The, the colours of the lolly should dye the popcorn. We did this with Skittles. It was Skittles. Yeah, on, on a Hacks video. If you check the playlist yes. out, I hope if you're enjoying this video, folks, don't forget to check out the playlist. It is really fun over the years. I think my favourite hack is still the uh, wine bottle with the, the, with the heat <laughs> thing where it hit the ceiling, the cork. That was amazing. That was the first dangerous one. Yeah. And I can see slightly different shades of colour, but folks, it's not going to work. This is oh, good. I really want it to work. It's like the egg one again. If it does anything, I think it's going to be one colour, consistent colour of all of these melted together. Because you can't keep them separate like that. There's no way. But you've got blue, red and yellow, and it is all dyed into like this red fluid. But you don't want popcorn to be wet. No. It'll be soggy. <laughs> so now if that water's gone, we should still get a pop. There is a pop. There we go. Another one. It's not burning. Gosh, it's yeah, burning. I can see burning. I think we better get that off the heat before. There is um. <coughs> Burnt popcorn in there. Uh, honestly, we've just opened our back door because that stinks. Like it is burning. I mean, we haven't even opened the pan yet. Oh, it's a burnt lollipop it's stick. It's a lollipop stick. Oh, I, I tell you what, mate. Oh, no. Nah. I think it was the rest of the popcorn as well, mine. That's got burnt sugar all over it. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, where's the rainbow popcorn? There, there's your rainbow. <laughs> that, folks, you really wanted to see it. That does not work. Oh, oh that is disgusting. <laughs> that is horrendous. That tastes like smoke. That's, That's a fail. fail. Do you like toasters? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't like these toaster ones. I ha a toaster is a dangerous appliance. Yes. It really is. Um, so please be careful. A lot of you sent this to me and I figured let's do this. Have you ever been in a situation where you've got some leftover cold pizza and you want to reheat it? No. Apparently you can do it in a toaster and this is where I'm worried because the slices don't go in covered at all. Surely that we're going to catch the cheese on fire? Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's got to be upturned as well. That's why it's on a board. Oh my gosh. This is getting worse. Oh my gosh. 
and maybe we'll do, should we just do, no, let's do two. Yeah, yeah, no more than two. So my fear is that it's these grabbers, so obviously the toaster, it pulls it down or across as the case may be, we'll probably tip it a little bit to let it fall in. My fear is that they're gonna squish the it together and if it gets too hot, cheese could bubble into the heating elements. So I push it if down? If I tilt it at an angle like this, slightly, there we go, and then there we go, and then you push it down, there you go. It has oh gone gosh. in there. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my gosh, I can hear it. I can smell burning already. There is burning coming There's out. There's burning coming out of here. Where? There's like smoke coming out the bottom. Oh, uh, why? Oh, actually eject it, Mrs. B. No, Press no, the X. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think it was right at the bottom. There we go. All right, now can you clamp it? There we go. See, that's much higher up the toaster now. That's a face of confidence. That's okay, because it just looks like a grill. Should we get the other two slices? Oh, there. Oh my gosh, there is smoke. Should we uh, eject it out? Eject, eject. Be quick, can you eject it? Oh my gosh, yes. Look at that smoke, what's going on? Oh, that oh, that's hot. is hot pizza. Mmm. Burnt pizza. <clears throat> Must hot. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend this though, and I'm not oh, doing it again. That is red hot. Oh, can we do it one more time? Hmm. I think our toaster's just designed to put bread in. But this is actually the, the picture there that originated. This is Jimmy Taylor on Twitter uh, that requested that. So there you go, Jimmy. Actually, a lot of other people have tagged me in that over the last year or so. Um, but that kind of worked. Yeah, but I don't want to do a toaster hack ever again, please. <gasps> it's done it. Oh! That's amazing. Did you hear that the seal Bye, yeah. uh, didn't actually do a proper poppage because it had a blooming oh, yeah, nut it on it? Pop. That was a. Oh no. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's so stuck! <laughs> Just... <laughs> Are you generally stuck again? Yes. Quick, get the bicarbonate of soda. Um. This is B. Thanks for watching, folks. What was your favourite hack today? Walnuts. Yes. <laughs> I think, we, think, although we started with the cauliflower one, that was okay. Oh, yeah, Things have gone that. a bit downhill, actually. The popcorn, nah, no. No. The pizza, no. no. The eggs, no. Mm. The cauliflower, nah. Yes. This, yeah. yes. But I think the walnuts is the winner. Definitely. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. Uh, do put on your Barathon sweatband now. Check out the rest of the videos here on the channel entirely. Uh, nearly 2,000 videos now. Nuts. That's crazy. Ah! Walnuts. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Are your fingers alright? No!